Welcome back to Hard Working Man. Today, we're doing something we've never done before. Up until this point, we've sourced all of our own firewood, all of our own logs, either getting it from friends' jobs, getting it out of the woods ourselves, or getting it off our property. That all changes today. All right, so I've been looking for log trucks for quite a while. I actually ordered this last winter, and I'm just now able to get them coming in because of the frost laws and because of the demand. So I've never done it before. This company's on the other side of the state, but they could bring them over here. I had another guy I was getting logs from, and it just never worked out. He was supposed to bring them a couple different times, and he didn't end up making it, so I decided to go with this one. This load was actually cheaper than the other load I was going to get, but they were supposed to be between 4 and 8 inches, which I wasn't too excited about, but I asked him if I could try to get closer to 16 and I'd say I got more that are over four than at four. So that's nice. You see a couple of punky ones in there, but overall they look pretty decent. Trying to get caught up on our stock. I love cutting and processing all my own wood, but it's just hard to keep up. I sell out every year, I raise my prices. I always say if you're selling out, your prices are too low. But I'm more than double what a lot of people are in this area because I don't sell my wood till it's seasoned. I don't sell it till it's ready to go. But this will this will be a while because it's oak. But uh, it's going to help us get caught up, hopefully. Plus, it'll give us some wood to run through the dyna. I've got plenty of wood up at the property where the dyna currently is but I can't get it out of the yard yet. It's still too wet. So I figure this way. Here I got a working pad I can work on and I can get these logs worked. He's gonna angle them out to the driveway so I can start unloading from that end and bring them to the processor. Most of these guys that run these trucks are pretty skilled at it. He's got the power lines there behind him. We got my lights down that I meant to take down a long time ago, but I just now got them down because they were in the way of the boom truck. That's how I run sometimes. I mean to do stuff, but I don't get it done until it's in the way of something else or needs to get done for another project. I have to say, this is the most wood I'll ever have in the wood yard. Well, not ever, but have ever had at one time. I brought in a lot myself. I've got a, probably 20, 30 cord up in the property, but not like this. Not all nice eight foot poles. Most of these are pretty straight. So we're gonna, we're gonna get some hours on the dyna finally. This would be a daunting task if I had to buck and split all this stuff by hand. I know a lot of people do it, but I mean, if you got a processor, you might as well get wood like this to run through it and get your stock built up. Or, if you want to rent a Dyna, you can rent them. So we're going to do some tests. We're going to see, you know, how much wood can we do in eight hours? How long will it take us to do this or do that? And uh, give you guys some real, real world estimates from somebody who doesn't run a processor professionally. You know, we don't have a lot of hours on it. It'll be like you renting it. We're running it. We'll sh show you how to set it up. We'll show you how to break it down and tow it over here. And then see how we do processing this wood through it. It's supposed to be a mix of oak and maple, but I want to say it's maybe all oak. I'll ask him when he's done, but it looks like all oak to me. I'm tempted to order another truck right now while he's here. Get another one coming. I didn't want to order two trucks until I saw what this one was going to look like, you know? Because I've seen other people order trucks. I seen on Facebook the other day, someone ordered, it was supposed to be 10 cord load, and it was probably closer to six, and it was a lot of twigs, and it was just nothing I would ever purchase for a second time most certainly but this looks pretty nice
That grapple's a bit more effective than the one I run on my tractor. <laughs> but it costs a little more too. Never in my life would I have guessed that I would order a log truck. I'm the kind of guy who likes to do stuff myself. I like going out harvesting my own timber, sourcing it all, and that's what I've done up to this point. But you learn from other people like Chris in the wood yard. He says, you know, th the time it takes you to get the wood, you make more money doing it this way. And he knows a little bit about firewood. He's made a, a stick or two of firewood in his life. So we're gonna see how it works for us. He gets his, uh, I think he gets his logs cheaper, but this load, 20 cord load was $2,700. Which I know for some areas that's an awful lot, but I shopped around quite a bit and this was the best I could find. I'm also curious to see how many cord of firewood we get out of this, because I know it doesn't translate. So if you guys know, if you've done this, if you've calculated it out, you know, a 20 cord log truck, you know, you can see the timber, there's some holes in there. What, uh, how many cord of firewood do you get out of these? Because that'll help determine how much it's worth it too. Because like I said, being oak, it's gonna have to season for a year or two once it's split. So it's an investment, it's not an instant profit. It's gonna take some time to get this money back out of it, but I'm hoping to at least double it or more, but we'll see. It's gonna be a nice stack of timber. Being the first log truck I've ever ordered too, I did not know how much room I would need to get this all stored in. And he said he thinks he'll be able to fit it in the area I prepared. We're about to find out. I can only imagine how long this would have taken to get 20 cord of logs out myself. With the dump trailer or the gooseneck and the tractor. We're still gonna get a lot of our own, but this is just adding to the supply, adding to the stock. I mean, <laughs> Firewood guys, we're a special kind of guys. We get excited when we get more work to do. You know, I paid money to do work. I bought these logs so that I have to put the hours in to process them. I do think it looks cool though, a big load of logs in the yard ready to go. does not take these guys long at all to get a load 20 cord off these trucks. Took him three hours to get over here. So a six hour round trip. Yeah, Rachel just came out. She was in working out. She's uh, <laughs> seeing all the work we got for ourselves. <laughs> yeah. 
That's sweet. So we got about one and a half of the beds unloaded. It's a nice pile of logs. I did not know it was this amount. Like I said, I never ordered a log truck before. There's a couple of pretty big ones on there. We'll see if they'll run through the diner or not. I think they will. That SC16 rapid split goes up to 22 inches. I think those are probably gonna be around 20. That one right there on yeah. top. And, then and this big one. one here. That's gonna be probably close to the limits there. Yeah, I think it's still good. I think it'll run it though. Hopefully we can get them sort of uh, sorted out for the six or the four way, you know, get the small ones and the big ones sort of run in some type of uh, order, I guess, instead of constantly mixed. So, how do you plan on getting these logs onto the... I'm not sure where we're gonna set processes. the processor up, but how he's setting them is going to allow me to come in off the driveway into this end so here's our driveway going up to the house. There's Rachel and her workout gear. And I'll be able to come in right off the driveway and start working from this end and grab them with that ram splitter grapple I have on the Coyote and then bring them to wherever the processor is. And I'll probably have to just keep feeding it when Rachel's running that thing. Is this how much you thought we were getting? No, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know what we were getting either. Our grumpy old neighbor just waved to us, so <laughs> Did he? I guess he doesn't hate me anymore. <laughs> when we got our Easton made access, our farmer across the street, he uh, wasn't too happy that I pulled into his farm field drive access with my tractor to unload the access off the truck without asking him first. It was a last minute thing. We couldn't get it from the driveway side. So I just did and I didn't, you know, I didn't think it'd be much of an issue, but he thought otherwise and he came over and gave Rachel an earful while I was going up to the house to get the Trax trailer dolly to tow it back up to the house. Yeah, he was angrier than I felt was needed. Yeah. <laughs> the truck driver was like, oh, don't worry, I'll handle this. And then the guy came out just screaming at me and I, that guy was like, Okay, it's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I've dealt with people like this before, and then afterwards he's like, I'm never quite like that. No. I'm excited. This is a lot of wood. Yeah, this is fun. Do you even have totes to put it all in? No, I don't have enough totes for this. We're gonna get totes and then figure out another way. I need an elevator. We could build a huge pile, but I don't have a real elevator. Of course, the elevator off the dyna, but then it would have to be positioned where we want our pile to be. So we still got to figure out how to set the yard up with the dyna because we planned on running it up at the property, but with the mud, it just hasn't been working out. So we uh, call, called an audible and we got the, these logs delivered here to run. They look like good logs. Yeah, I think it's all oak for the most part. Which I know Joe from Ohio Woodburner hates oak, but people in this area love oak for everything and anything. Yeah. Whether it be everything. campfires, heating, cooking. Furniture, cabinets. <laughs> it is like the gold standard for everything. Oak. You can, I've asked people why they want oak for campfire wood and they say because it's the best. You know, like they don't know why. And I don't think it is the best camp firewood. It's just they are been taught around here that oak's the best firewood. Oh well, yeah, somebody told them that's what you want. So that's yep. what they go by. There it is, the last couple sticks. Like I made quick work of that. That's handy. I thought he was gonna be in like a dump truck and just dump logs out. No, we would not get it wouldn't be worth him driving three hours with a dump load full. That's how far he drew? Yeah. Dang. Over on the other side of the state. There it is. 
We'll check it out once he gets backed up out of here. So here is who we got this from, Muma Logging out of Gladwin, Michigan. Like I said, the other side of the state a little bit to the north, but they brought it over. And as you can see, they support veterans, so that's always nice to see. We'll be heading down to the Hoosier Firewood Hysteria here shortly to split a bunch of wood for the uh, Vietnam Memorial Veterans Camp not, Campground. Man, this guy's good. If you wanted to know what 20 cord of logs looks like on the ground, this is it. This is 20 cord of eight foot logs and it's a lot of firewood. We got our work cut out for us. One thing I really like about this load of logs is they're clean. So it's not going to dull the chain on the processor very quickly. That's key because Michigan has been a mud pit this year and I didn't know what we were going to get because I've seen guys get logs and they're covered in dirt, which is not anything I wanted. This is a nice clean load of red oak. I have to say I'm pretty happy for my first log truck load ever. This is all oak and it ranges from 21 inches, which I guessed right around 20. That's 21 inches there to the smaller pieces are around five or six inches. Not a lot in here that has any punkiness on it at all, and most of it's pretty straight. There's a few with little crooks and kinks, but this is going to run through the Dyna awesome. If you guys want to see that, make sure to subscribe to Hardworking Man. Leave a comment down below how much firewood, how many cords of firewood are we going to get out of 20 cords worth of logs. And what do you think? Was it a good investment? $2,700 for all oak. It's money in the bank. It'll take a little bit of time to get a return on our investment, but I think we're going to do pretty good. Thanks for watching, hardworking man, guys. Have a great night.